This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. So back in series one, we had a Hulk variant with the straight fingers on rubber hands. You notice the center picture is actually the normal run figure. And that one's got curly fingers. Also in series one, Iron Man had a darker version, more of a, a gold look rather than a yellow look. And he had a different mask on him. And a second variant was the stealth blue variant. So he got two different variants in this first wave. In Series 2 of Toy Biz, you had Thing with his trench coat, glasses, and hat as a variant. Also in Series 2, you had the Doombot variant. Series 3, we had the Maskless Wolverine variant. Also Series 3, you had a Daredevil with a 3 o'clock shadow unshaven and you had one with him um, with a smooth shaving face and if you notice the backdrop or the background of that church scene or the stained glass window one of them is red one of them is more blue and that is the difference in them series six you had the dark phoenix in her red costume this one was never released but this silver juggernaut was shown as a Walmart exclusive best of series that they never released. It would have been awesome to see, but they didn't do it. In series six, you had the cable variant. And this was more of a blue and brown rather than a blue and yellow look to him. Also series six, there was a re-release of that Wolverine maskless for some odd reason. That was a Series 3 re-release. Series 7, you had the Phasing Ghost Rider variant. Also, Series 7, you had another Phasing, and this one was Phasing Vision. Series 7, there were two different versions of Hawkeye. The only difference was his bow. So his bow had, a, had the ability to... Um, have a knuckle guard on the bow and not. So look at the picture to the far right and you'll see the two different bows. One of them has a knuckle guard, one of them does not. So the knuckle guard was the variant. Then you have the Black Widow variant, Yelana Belova. That was Series 8. Also in Series 8, you had the Storm Mohawk variant. And then I'm not sure which one was the variant on this particular one, but you had an Ultimate Captain America and a Classic Captain America, also in Series 8. And then in this one, you had the Logan. Uh, one of them looks like Days of Future Past. The other one looks kind of like a just a Cowboy Logan. I believe the Cowboy Logan was the variant. Also in the Legendary Rider series, you had the Wonder Man purple variant. Powered up. In the Galactus build a figure, we had the bullseye variant with him smiling or gritting his teeth. Also in Galactus, you had the first appearance Hulk in a green form. In the Sentinel build a figure wave, you had the blue X Factor costume for Angel. These were variants of each other because you brought the same Build-A-Figure piece, the ab section of the Sentinel. So the Mystique and the Mega Red were kind of running alternates in that wave, or variants. And then you also had the X-Factor Cyclops as a variant in the Sentinel series. In the Apocalypse wave, you had the Bishop, Bald Bishop variant. 
and just I'm going to mention this as well. The Sentinel, or sorry, the Apocalypse himself was a variant because uh, you had a black version and a blue version, I guess. And this guy was never released, but they showed us another version of Bishop uh, prototype, and we never got it. Also in the Apocalypse Build a Figure Wave, you had the Red Iron Fist, which his name I'm going to butcher probably, but it's Hyalithri, I think. Also in the Apocalypse Wave, you had the Snowbird version or Albano Sasquatch variant. And then the X-23, you had the black costume rather than the purple costume. Also in the Apocalypse, you had the Massless Astonishing Wolverine. And here is that variant black version of the Apocalypse figure. Then we jump over to the Onslaught build figure and you had the Acid Burn Face Abomination. You also had the Massless version of the Green Goblin or Norman Osborn. And you had the variant Loki with his alternate helmet on, or hat, or cap, or whatever you call it. Then in the Mojo build figure wave, you had the Falcon with the longer wings as the variant. Also in Mojo, you had the gold version of the first appearance of Iron Man. You had a very, very rare, rare version of this silver costume and blue pants Luke Cage. And also another very rare version of this black costume, Psylocke. And then they had another variant that they showed us, but we never saw, which was, had the purple hair. Also in Mojo, you had the burned up looking face of Baron Zemo. Jumping over to the Modoc wave, you had the Destroyer armor, which is the variant of the Thorbuster armor. We had several different variants of the Wasp. This was the red and black costume, which was more available to us. And then the very rare blue costume variant. Then you had the variant silver version of the Moon Knight. The variant Genis Veil version of the Captain Marvel. Variant Spider Woman with her black costume. We had a variant Fantastic Four box set with a clear version of Invisible Woman and a translucent version of Johnny Storm or Human Torch. The variant for the Face Off series was the Baron Strucker and the Massless Captain America. The variant for the Hulk and Leader 2 pack was the Open Mouth Hulk and the Tall Headed Leader. Then we had the Black Suited Kingpin and the Massless Daredevil. You had the White Suited Jigsaw with the closed mouth or Kind of snarling look. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is in the punishers really. There's a little bit of difference in the paint on the chest. It's more like a spray paint on this one versus uh, a regular paint. Then you had the red version of the Mandarin with the uh, war machine as a variant on the face off here. You had both open mouth Wolverine and Sabretooth as a variant. Jumping over to the giant man build a figure wave, you had the variant uh, burned face of Weapon X, Age of Apocalypse. And there was another um, blue version that they showed us, but we never got. There was all kinds of Sentinel, or Century, sorry, Century uh, variants in this particular wave. You had the yellow versus the gold, no shade or shaved, I should say. You had the gold with the beard, and you had the yellow with the beard. Then you had the silver arm Planet Hulk in the 
Annihilus series. In the blob builder figure, you had the darker eyes version of X, X Men 3 Jean Grey. You had the green costume Quicksilver, also in the blob series. You had the yellow jacket in the gold versus the yellow. So this one was an interesting variant because it wasn't released at the same location, but it was a variant for the Ultimate Wolverine. He had the blue costume, but it was a previews exclusive. So you had to get it at certain stores, but yet it still had the blob build figure pieces in it. Along the same lines, for the Annihilus figure, you had this Emma Frost in the middle that was the regular. However, you had a Toys R Us exclusive Emma Frost, same body, same mold and everything that was the diamond form. Technically, is not a variant because it did not have the Annihilus build a figure piece in it. So I just want to kind of bring that up as well. In the Brood build a figure, you had the Open Mouth Hydra Soldier. Also in the Brood, you had the Marvel Girl with her black cosmic skin. There was also 500 that ran that had her in the back package backwards. You'll see that picture up there in the middle. It shows her tattoo on her back. The Toy Biz Fan Choice winner um, exclusive gave us the red and black Warpath with the blue and yellow Deadpool. We had the also Fan Choice winner, Toys R Us exclusive, gray costume Black Widow with the long haired. Winter Soldier. And of course, that same Winter Soldier was both ways. They just swapped the heads on them. In the Nemesis series, you had the red costume Daredevil as the variant. We had the camo version of Punisher as a variant. Jumping over to Ares, which is Walmart exclusive as well, we had the, uh, I don't really want to know what you're going to call this one, kind of a white looking, veiny looking, I don't know. Uh, version of the Human Torch here. More two packs. We had the variant with Sharon Carter and the Stealth Arm Armored Iron Man. And of course you can just swap the head either way and you still got Marie Hill. This variant you got the White Hand Ninja and Dum Dum Dugan. And in this variant you had the Stroll Electra and the more greenish looking Ronin. Walmart or Target exclusively in the Red Hulk series, you had the X Force Wolverine as the variant. Also, you had a gold version of Spiral. And the Thin Fang Foom, the only variant was the re released Classic Hulk, which was the variant of the Gray Hulk that we got originally. Jumping into the return of Marvel Legends, we had the regular uh, Red Flame Ghost Rider as a variant for the Terax Wave. Also in the Terax Wave, you had the clear shielded Steve Rogers. The stealth version of Iron Man in his extremist armor. In the Arnim Zola build a figure wave, you had the Thunderball as a variant. And also just to mention, when you got the variants, you could actually build a variant Arnim Zola with a red skull face. You had the massless Bacon as a variant. Madam Mask was a variant of sorry, Madam Hydra was a variant of Madam Mask. And there's the if you look in the packaging, you'll see the red skull variant face. You had the FF Spider-Man was the variant of over the big time Spider-Man. And here's the comparison between the variant Red Skull chest and the original Arnim Zola chest. And this one was not released, but the Lyra would have been the variant of Red She-Hulk in the Hit Monkey Wave. Also not released was the AOA or Age of Apocalypse Gene and the white 
costume Phoenix in the Rocket Raccoon wave. Also not released at that time, but released later. The variant should have been the Bulldozer for the Wrecker. We never got that one until later on in the Ultron Build-A-Figure wave, Ant-Man wave. And same thing here. This one was re-released later, but it was supposed to originally be released with the Rocket Raccoon as an alternate to the, to the uh, Hawkeye. Another one that was very, very rarely released was the Rogue as the variant of the Emma Frost and the Puck Wave. And the Phoenix 5 Cyclops was never released. Another one that was not released in the Epic Heroes way was the Danny Moonstar. She would have been the alternate for Mystique. The Red Costume Deadpool versus the X Force Deadpool. I think it had rare releases overseas. This one was released. This was the Thunderbolts version with the red skull on his chest, Punisher. And again, this one may have been released overseas in, in very rare uh, forms. You had the Blade figure. And again, overseas, you had the FF Doom. So these are kind of running variants. Um, in the Mandroid wave, you had the Hydra agent and the Red Skull. By either one of them, get the same build a figure piece. Same thing here, you had AIM and Baron Zemo, same one, same piece. And here's the variant Old Man Thor versus the Odin Build-A-Figure. More running variants, these came with the torso of Rhino. You could get White Tiger or Misty Knight. Same here with the Ultimate Green Goblin. You could get the Carnage or the Toxin. Here you can get the Spider Girl, Anya Corazon, or Black Cat. And this one you can get the Ultimate Beetle or the Boomerang figure. Another variant we had, and this is in the Sam Ambito figure way, we had the Thunderbolts belt. Shocker. So one of them had the Thunderbolts logo on it. The other one was a plain belt. So there's a another variant for us. Here we have the Purple Hero variant of Psylocke. This is in the Apocalypse Build a Figure Wave. And the last one is the green headed Mysterio in the Lizard Build a Figure Wave. So here are all of the loose variants, so you can compare them all. Let you pause and take a look at it if you want to. Here they all are in packaging. Again, if you want to pause it, go for it. I'm also going to touch base on some of the spinoff or other waves that were made. That were six inch similar to Marvel Legends. So here is the legendary combat heroes pit build a figure wave. You had Madman and his variant with the yellow arms. You have Super Patriot with his two variants, one with the flag face, one without. And you had the Savage Dragon, one with a t-shirt, one without. Also in the monkey wave build a figure, you had the Judge Death and the Anne O'Brien. They both had variant figures. In the Fantastic Four classics, you had the Super Scroll having two different variants, one that's clear and one that is the flame effect. Also in Fantastic Four, you had the Invisible Woman in her invisible form. Over in the movie version of the Fantastic Four, these were also six inch. You had two different variants, one with clear legs and one with a full clear body. Also another invisible woman, this one also had clear legs. 
And another one with a clear body. And then you had a astronaut Ben Graham. One was a very crisp white looking suit. One of them looked like it's kind of burned up. Dr. Doom, you had the dark variant in the middle. With this beast in the X-Men classics, you had the cat face beast, and then you had the regular beast with the goggles. You had two different versions of Iceman, one with the uh, ultimate Iceman with the bandana on his head, and one with the Bobby Drake look to him. Professor X, you had him in a black suit versus the blue suit. Rogue, you had her with the long hair as a variant instead of the short hair. Over in the X-Men movie, you had two different versions of Storm, three different versions of Storm, technically. The one in the middle is the uh, one with her top going all the way up to her neck. Next one, her goes down to her breast line, just barely. And then this one goes down and shows a lot of cleavage. Going over to the Spider-Man classic, she had the yellow Daredevil as the variant. And then you had the Stealth Venom as a variant. You had the clear Iron Spider-Man variant. You had several different uh, Galactus. You had the, and of course this is Marvel Universe, but I want to go ahead and talk about this as well. You had the SDCC, and then you also had the darker purple variant on the left there. With the Sentinel, you had the silver and blue versus the purple and blue, and then you also had the SDCC. And then with the Iron Man, you had the white uh, satellite suit and the gray one. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.